Hello YouTube! Um, this is just going to be a quick mini beauty haul. I went shopping today and picked up a few things, um, just a few essentials and things that I want to try out. Um, I had some gift vouchers left from Christmas, literally I have not been shopping since like Christmas. I was away in South Africa in December and I've come back and I got sick and I haven't been out, I haven't done any sale shopping absolutely nothing so I had loads of gift vouchers from all my family and I went and spent some of them today so firstly um, I'll go to the first shop I went to which was Mac I had some vouchers and I picked up Mac's Prep and Prime and I love the box I don't know if you can see it but it's glittery which I really like so yeah, just I'm sure you've all seen it before. Max Prep and Prime primer, I'm just a basic essential. I picked up my foundation because I've run out. Sorry, I'm still recovering. Um, and I got my Studio Fix Fluid, and I am NC20 because I'm pale. Despite being in the sun all December, I'm still a very pale person and a pale individual. But hey embrace it so yeah that <coughs> and then just the little pump thing to go on the top make it easy so that was mac next i went to lush because i had i love this bag by the way you see this what does it say it's where the magic happens apparently so so lush first thing i had I had five pots left over, so most of you might know five lash pots means once you return them, clean them, um, or they can be tubes, you get a free lash face mask. And these lash face masks, this is a fresh one, and it's my favourite one. It's Cat Catastrophe Cosmetic. Um, and this is just, oh, I love the smell. Oh, and it's just oozed everywhere. It's blueberry. I can't show you because it's got, it's got loads of juicy stuff on top because it's going to the fridge because I've been shopping all day um, and it's just gone all over my duvet. Lovely. Um, so that is that and it's just a um, piece of blueberries and things like that. It says when disaster looms, catastrophe cosmetic calms and cleanses the skin. Blueberries rich in beneficial antioxidants, soothing chamomile, Irish moss and the gentle cleansing action of calamine to save the day. And this is just a really nice face mask. I don't really suffer much from spots or breakouts or things. I've got quite normal, so maybe combination skin, I'll get the occasional spot. But um, Catastrophe Cosmetic just keeps everything in balance. It's just oh, it's just a really nice all-round face mask. So if you're new to Lush face masks, you're not too sure what to get. I really suggest getting the Catastrophe Cosmetic because it really, really just it's a lovely face mask to use. Nice little pampering thing. So they usually retail at five ninety five, but collect five pots, take them back, you get a free one. So an incentive to recycle. <coughs> Next thing, this was all bought. These two things with my gift vouchers for Christmas. Um, the next thing I picked up was the Enchanter um, bath bomb or bath ballistic. Um, this is normally £3.20 um, and I believe this is one from the Halloween collection. I think the lady said I haven't been to Lush in so long um, but I am a Lush fan and so she said it's just one from the Halloween collection and it's just stayed. And it's this, I don't know how it's showing up on camera, bright orange with yellow going through it. Kind of looks like the honeybee. And it's just, it's just a really fresh smell and it's, it's just a really nice smell. It's that kind of when you walk into Lush, that overpowering powdery goodness. It's just that, I'm not too sure what specific smell it is. To be honest, I can't get it back in the bag. That was that. So that was something new. I haven't tried that one because, like I said, I haven't been to Lush in ages. <clears throat> and then the other thing that I got was my favourite, one of my favourites, the comforter is also my favourite, Pop in the Bath um, Bubble Bath. <coughs> Sorry. So this is just so cute. I love how these look. Look. 
little flower. And it's just such a fresh, clean, kind of reminds me, musky. I think the muskiness reminds me of my grandma, which is very sweet and very sad at the same time, bless her. Um, so that is hot in the bar. And it's one of their cheaper um, bath <coughs> <coughs> bubble bars. Um, and that is £2.90. So I bought all those with my gift cards. Next place I went was Boots. I just picked up my Garnier face wash. Um, Garnier works really well with my skin. I use their cleansers, their toners and their... Um, moisturiser, that's the word. Um, I don't really find that I need much for my skin, um, but this is really, really nice. And it has the um, purifying salicylic acid, there's 2% in here. So I think, even though I don't suffer from acne skin, I think this really, really does help prevent breakouts because, and I would suggest that you go and get something with salicylic acid or I think the other one's benzoic acid which are proven to help with acne prone skin so try it out um, this only cost sort of £3.50 or so really really good um, really quite nice I found it a bit strong to start with um, and it can hurt your eyes a little bit if you get it in there just don't get it in there um, but afterwards you just get used to it so I use that every twice a day then I went to Boots Sorry, my fringe. I've just had my hair cut and my fringe is not playing ball. It's because here in England, true to form, we've had a very miserable rainy wet day and I've gone out with my hair and now it's like this. So I went to Boots and picked up some of the new Rimmel Apocalypse um, lip lacquers. Now they were on a three for two so I got these and <laughs> sorry so I bought these two and my mum also got the same one as me and they were three for two so we kind of just split it because I tried some of the colours and the nude, I'm only a fan of nude lipstick but it really like I thought oh no that's going to wash me out the reds were very very red brights <laughs> and I'm kind of, I'm only getting used to like wearing a bit of a bright lip now so I've still gone a bit bit safe so the first one that I really really liked was this one and this is 101 <coughs> Celestial um, and it's this gorgeous berry I don't know how well you can see that colour let me just open it for you I haven't even opened these since so coming home use the testers oh did anyone see that how that was clear and now it's gone all pink I'll do it slow on the other one so yeah it's this kind of color let me just swatch it for you it's that kind of just a really nice pink every day I would wear that sort of every day really really nice color and I just love how it's um it's a lipstick kind of pigment um, I feel that it's going to last a very long time, but it's got that sheen kind of lip gloss effect to it. So that's that first one, 101 in Celestial. And the next one is this really bright, hot pink, just really gorgeous, like night out. And this is 303 in whoop, Apocalyptic. So, um, watch people, watch. Right. See, it's clear. Whoop! Oh, that's so cool. So, this is the next one. And next to Celestial, you I'm pretty sure you'll be able to see the difference now. So it's the brighter one. So this is Celestial at the bottom, and this is Apocalyptic. And they're the Rimmel Apocalypse lip lacquers go to boots now they're three for two <clears throat> then I went to number seven and I bought these first just to see if number seven had their five pound off gift vouchers when you spend money usually you get a five pound off gift voucher I'm a little bit crafty like that I like a bargain so I went to see if they had them um, but they weren't doing them but I went to number seven anyway because this morning before I went into town 
I dropped my bronzer on my carpet. I've cleared it up, it's fine. So I'm without bronzer. So I went to number seven and picked up their perfectly bronzed dual bronzer. And it is just this, this two toned bronzer. Really nice and simple. It's not shimmery at all, which is unusual for me because I do tend to like a bit of shimmer. I'm just mixing the two together. It's very subtle, like I just use my bronzer for contouring. Like I said, I'm pale, so if I start to put <coughs> bronzer sort of all over my face, it's going to look really, really weird. You may be able to see that, you might not, just here. That is the bronzer from number seven I got. And then <coughs> the lady said, if you buy this one, you'll get another product half price. And I've been after a red lip liner, so I just picked up this red lip liner. Oh, I forgot to mention, these lip lacquers, they're <coughs> $5.99 each, um, but uh, three for two, so I think go and get the deal right now. Um, let me see here. So this bronzer was eleven fifty, and then my Perfect Lips um, pen, this one, and it's just in a really bright red, it's... Number 7 Precision Lips Pencil, and it's in colour Fire, and it is, there's the top there, red. Just there, Fire. And um, I bought a really nice <coughs> lipstick, red lipstick from max factor maybe and like I said I'm only really getting into wearing reds now and it definitely I tried it on and I want to wear it on a night out but I've got coming up with my work colleagues and I definitely need a lip liner like it's not the sort of like you know you start putting it on it's just going to bleed out it's going to look awful so I invested in a decent red lip liner now so and that would normally be 675 but because <coughs> So I got the deal, buy one, get one half price. I only got it for £3.37. So that is my little mini beauty haul. Um, I hope you liked it. Comment down below if you want some further updates on what I think of the Rimmel Lip Blackers, how I'm getting on. Um, then I'll do that for you, but let me know. Um, okay, bye.